we're going to review a couple of things. And I have a book that I've just been dying to talk about. And um, since the subject is story, and we are always both, and I think we both came up with it independently, we're both always saying everyone has a story. And this is a story that I read recently. It was given to me by this uh, one of my stitching groups or loaned to me. It's by a man named Silas Terman, and he was a farmer out on the edge of the mountain in the, what we call the Bellspur area, and he wrote a book about his life, and he called it Forever Grateful. Oh, nice title. Lovely title. Lovely book. And well-written. And uh, I was enchanted with it. I just sat down here the day after Benita gave it to me and read it straight through all day long. I, I did not put it down. And, of course, I recognized some of the names of the people that he was talking about, which might make it a little bit more interesting to me. Uh, but it was just a really sweet story of a man of faith. And his life. Now, what years did he He live? was born in 1920. Oh, okay. And I can't remember exactly when he died, but he um, died about 10, 12 years ago, maybe a little longer. He was disabled for the last years of his life, and I think that's why he decided to write the book. He raised several children up on the side of the mountain. He was a dairy farmer and uh, had a lovely wife, His the love of his life, Marie. And um, tells all about uh, meeting her and kind of waiting for her to grow up. And <laughs> she was a bit younger than him and his military service. And um, Is his wife still alive? She passed away last year. Okay. Yeah, yeah she passed away. Um, his uh, children still live basically in the area. He has one daughter still down on Bellspur. And um, then I'm sure there's several grandchildren and... But yeah, yeah, poor Marie, we lost her last year. Okay. Yeah, she's a delightful person. But it, it's just a, a wonderful story. A lot of these books, when I, I read them, I enjoyed the childhood ones, and then they go off to the military, and I don't like them so much. Mm -hmm. But this one was enchanting all the way through. It really was interesting, the entire book. So it's, uh, it's on Amazon. Um, dot com. I think it's in paperback, maybe like eight dollars or thereabouts. His name's Silas Terman, and Forever Grateful. And I'll put a link in the show notes. Wow, that's really great. Now, what kind of writing style had he? He gone through high school or what? Yeah, he went through uh, high school. I can't remember if he totally finished um, because you know when he went to school was um, they had consolidated, I think, to um, to the school. He went to school out here, and then he went to Medicine Dan, and he played uh, basketball, I think. And um, I can't remember if he finished and got all the way through or not. But um, it's a very straight, uh, straightforward, um, simple style, but um, not, you know, nothing negative about it. Well, yeah. how nice. Yeah, it's just a nice, nicely written and very enjoyable, a pretty fast pace. And and he, he kind of reveals some things about, I guess inadvertently, about the relationships between men and women in the mountains are kind of interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> because we're not, we're not a, we're not a demonstrative people uh, in our particular neck of the woods. Uh, you know, you don't see people walking around hanging over, young or older people, you don't see them hanging all over each other and stuff. But, I mean, I was surrounded by people that loved each other, and I knew it. And, you know, there would be like a, a little sneak, uh, they might sneak and hold hands for a minute or, or exchange of looks or whatever. But Silas and Marie apparently had some... Um, of physical wrestling battles and <laughs> she would take his clothes away and leave him in the middle of the cornfield and <laughs> ah, teasing <laughs> yeah, yeah they were really teasing and really 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 interesting and and i can picture that in a lot of mountain people in a way the their, their way of showing affection is different and um it's kind of hard to describe well, I'm just going to have to read the book. You'll have to read the book. <laughs> yes. 